We are here with Ira David Wood III in Theater in the Park's wonderful Christmas decorative hallway here. Um, we are uh, talking with him this morning for a quick interview prior to another year of A Christmas Carol. Uh, if you would kindly tell us a bit about your, your past and uh, Christmas Carol and your family. I was born and raised in Halifax County, northeastern North Carolina. Future farmer of America, not by choice, but that's just what you did. Uh, I was the first Eagle Scout in my hometown, and uh, uh, my guidance counselor came to me one day and said, you belong in a place with other crazy people. So uh, he took me to an audition for uh, governor school. I made that, and then uh, auditioned and was accepted in the first year of the School of the Arts in Winston-Salem when it opened in 1965. So that was my senior year in high school. I had four years of college there. And during that time, spent my summers uh, at the Lost Colony on the Outer Banks. Uh, came back and worked as the first theater arts consultant for the Department of Public Instruction for a year. And then was asked to take over the Raleigh Children's Theater. I changed the name to Theater in the Park because we found this home in the northern end of Pullen Park. It was going to be kind of a, a short gig, maybe two or three years. But it's been over 40 now and haven't regretted a minute of it. Excellent. And uh, if you tell us a little bit about your family and your kids, and you have a new arrival. I do have a new arrival. Uh, I have, uh, of course, uh, Evan Rachel Wood and my son Ira David, uh, 28 and 25. And the newest addition was born in July, so he's about four months now. Uh, Thomas Miller Wood has blessed our lives. I have a new son-in-law. Uh, Evan got married on October the 30th to Jamie Bell, so we call them the Christmas Bells now. So yeah, the family's growing. We're very excited. Excellent. Uh, our first question is, uh, when did you first realize that you wanted to get into acting as a full-time career? Ah, it was a Kindergarten Follies, and I had to sing the song, Somebody Loves Me to a Little Girl. I absolutely hate it, and people bought it. They just believed it. I said, well, you know, I may have a career in line, you know. So that's, yeah, I think that was the first time I said, this is kind of fun to be in front of people. Do that or be a lawyer, right? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and if you couldn't be an actor and you had to go back and start over and do something else, what else do you think might have been fulfilling to you other than acting? I might have been a teacher. I love history, so I, I probably would have been a history teacher and definitely a writer. Definitely a writer. Um, what's your favorite comfort food? Uh, Let's see, right now I think it's uh, a cabbage. I fix cabbage and chicken broth and cut up onions in it. Everybody loves it at my house and my in-laws uh, worship my cabbage. So I think by a popular opinion, it would, it would be that. It sounds good, I've got a good roasted cabbage recipe for you. Ooh, really okay, easy, we'll share. Easy to, we'll share. Um, what is your, do you have a favorite movie and or TV show? Uh, TV show definitely would be Dexter. Uh, Michael C. Hall is from Raleigh and played Peter Cratchit in A Christmas Carol. Uh, so yeah, I'm partial to that. It's a great show. A lot of plot twists. Favorite movie I think would be To Kill a Mockingbird. Excellent play too. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to do it this year, Oh yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. Um, what do you think your strong points are as an actor? I think the strong points for me and for any actor is the ability to listen on stage and just be in the in the moment be in the now um, and that's my advice to, to anybody you know going into the business is learn to listen because it changes a little bit uh, certainly on stage every night every performance is a little different so. um, you notice how I'm listening yes. to you <laughs> uh, what's your preference phone email or text now uh, golly uh, I still like the phone I still like to hear a human voice um, and uh, uh, didn't think I could live uh, uh, with a cell phone. I mean, didn't want one. Now I can't live without it. I, I don't know, but it's just, yeah, phone. That's Steve Jobs. We can blame him for all that. <laughs> yeah. um, what advice would you give to a new actor or actress just getting into the field um, from your experience? All right, this may sound strange, but this is always the advice I give anybody. If you want to be an actor, don't. If you have to be an actor, God bless you. <laughs> Excellent. 
It's deep, isn't it? But you, you know, it's there. They'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. Okay, good. Get it on the bus ride home. That's right. <laughs> yeah. They don't. They don't need to be doing that. <laughs> no. uh, go in and be a lawyer. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could play any role in any movie or play, other than one you've already been in, uh, what would that be? Uh, Phantom of the Opera. I, I fantasize sometimes that I could sing. <laughs> and boy, you got to to do that role. I saw it uh, in its last week in London before it moved to Broadway, and uh, I loved it. I mean, it was it was absolutely incredible. So yeah, it's a daunting role, uh, but one I, I'm a little long in the tooth to do it now. But yeah, great role. You might could bring it to theater part one day. Oh, no? Yeah, yeah, the uh, geriatric version. <laughs> <laughs> um, now your son uh, stepped in for you when you took a vacation at WickMed recently. Yes, yeah. Um, how proud were you of, of the job he did and, and his role in that? Uh, extremely proud. He uh, amazed me. Uh, when they told me I had to go in for open heart surgery, he was the first one I called. And when he came to the house and walked in, I said, hello, Mr. Scrooge, are you the color drain? <laughs> and he said, are you serious? And I said, I'm serious as a heart attack, okay? <laughs> and he stepped in, he did the role. Uh, when I went to see it, I was amazed. It was like watching me on stage. He had he had studied all the video. Of course, he grew up with the show all of his life, so he knew the nuances. He knew everything, and he did that. So very proud of him. And uh, I didn't have to worry. I was not stressed about it. Evan came back from uh, Hollywood, and was his uh, a pair of eyes and ears out front. So together they made a, an incredible team. Never been prouder of him. You know, where he's going to maybe take you out and take over the role in I told him, I said, don't get used to it. Don't get used to it. Um, what's your favorite topical inclusion that you've put into the play that still makes you laugh when you think about it now? Uh, Monica Lewinsky, without a doubt. Uh, because the audience laughed. I know for five minutes they did not stop laughing. I was sitting behind my desk. I'm fussing out Bob Cratchit. And I return to my work, and, I, and there's a line that I give. It's just, now, where was I? And this hand came up from underneath the desk with a piece of parchment in it. I took the parchment. The hand went down. I looked down. I said, thank you, Monica. <laughs> the audience died. And after they finished laughing, in about four minutes, you just, you just sit and hold. You do a Jack Benny, you know. <laughs> and when the laughter sort of tapered off, I said, go ahead and laugh, but you're not having half as much fun as I am. <laughs> And then it started again. So it was about five minute laugh. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. And people would probably still get that now. <laughs> um, I think so. Um, tell us something that uh, maybe people don't know about you. Um, <laughs> I'm an ordained minister, mail order. Uh, but I, uh, I, in fact, I officiated at my daughter's wedding recently. And my first gig was in the Bahamas. So I said, this is not bad. This is not bad. <laughs> But I uh, uh, became one because of my friends, and uh, actually every Friday, almost every Friday at my house around five, we have an attitude adjustment. And David Crabtree from WRL is there, Jack Radford, who's a former Methodist minister, of course David is, is certainly involved in the church, and David Henderson, who plays Jacob Marley and I, would gather and uh, have communion over a single mall and discuss why is there air. So we decided that we should all be men of the cloth when we gather. So David and I both became ministers through the mail and uh, haven't regretted it. It's been, <laughs> it's been actually <laughs> fun. That's when he actually told us that in a, an interview if he had another choice of career, that's probably where he would have gone. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah, yeah. Nice guy. Um, any fun or interesting hobbies? I, I love photography. And uh, I travel a lot with a camera in the car. And one thing that mesmerizes me, particularly in, in North Carolina, are the tobacco barns. Because they're, they're going away. We won't see them anymore. So every time I see a tobacco barn, it's generally overgrown or in, a, you know, in, in the middle of a collapse. And I'll get out and photograph it. Old farmhouses, I love photographing those. Tennessee Williams once came to this theater and uh, he and I were talking, and he said, are you a writer? And I said, well, yes, I am. And he said, do you write about the South? And I said, yes, I do, of course. And he said, well, then get out. Get out and go see it, because the South we knew, the South we grew up in, 
the Spanish. And, and I see those tobacco barns, and it reminds me of that fact that the, uh, the South we knew is fading away. And sure. It's a whole new place now. Uh, I, I smell a coffee table book coming soon. <laughs> I, mm, it could be. It could be. Uh, and our last question, um, what do you think is your best impression and would you do it for us? I love Peter O'Toole. I'm <laughs> holy mother. I'm not a actor. I'm a movie star. <laughs> I love Peter O'Toole. You got it. Thank you so much for My having pleasure. us, and we look forward to another year of Christmas Carol. This is which year? 38. So you started when you were eight? Yes, thank you Very so good. much for that. Very qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.